to Off-Label Veterinary News, your source for commentary on animals, medicine, and practice life. If this is your first time, go ahead and take a second and press that subscribe button. Let's jump in to some of the stories you might have missed. Walmart opens 20 veterinary clinics. Last year, we covered that Walmart had quietly opened a pilot veterinary clinic in Florida. Well, apparently, that test was a success, and Walmart announced this week that they are opening 20 Vet IQ clinics and stores around the country. Pet IQ has publicly announced that it has plans to open more than 1,000 veterinary services clinics throughout the United States by 2023. Pet IQ says that by opening these clinics, it will drive its earnings up over $1 billion by 2023. As I've asked you before, do you think the veterinary profession's future lies within a retail setting? From this latest announcement, it sure looks like it might. What do you think? Women dominate U.S. veterinary jobs. According to the latest research from USA Today and 24-7 Wall Street, the veterinary profession is the number one job dominated by females in the United States. The study evaluated professions that had become dominated by women during the period 2000 to 2016. In 2000, female veterinarians comprised about 34% of the profession. By 2016, that number had leapt to 59%. No job on the list had become dominated by women faster than veterinarians. Interestingly, this survey put the median earnings of veterinarians at $90,000 per year. Does that sound right to you? Rounding out the list was natural sciences managers at number two, pharmacists at number three, public relations and fundraising managers at number four, and graders and sorters of agricultural products at number five. Animal trainers were number six on the list at about 52% female. Non-farm animal caretakers were number 12 on the list, topping out at nearly 72% female. Jobs in this category include people who exercise, feed, groom, and take care of animals in settings such as zoos, shelters, and other non-farm facilities. And if you've gotten a parking ticket during the last 16 years, chances are it was a female parking enforcement officer. Pet food sales are growing faster than packaged human food. If you've been following the news here, you've noticed a lot of acquisitions of pet food companies over the past year. If you're wondering why, the current U.S. pet food market, valued at over $30.6 billion per year, is expected to grow 2.3% each year over the next five years. That's more than double the expected rate of growth in human packaged foods, which is around 1% per year. The APPA estimates that Americans spent $69.5 billion on their pets in 2017. That figure is up nearly $3 billion from 2016, representing a 4% increase. $29 billion was spent on pet food in 2017, equaling about 42% of the total pet expenditures. $17 billion was spent on veterinary care, $15 billion on supplies and OTC medications, and other services accounted for $6.9 billion. The biggest jump was seen in services for animals, including veterinary care, grooming, boarding, walking, training, pet sitting, and yard services. All economic indicators suggest that the next five years will continue to see growth globally in the pet industry. What do you think, off-labelers? Is your 2018 off to a good start? And do you see great things to come? I want to hear from you. Well, that's it for another edition of Off-Label Veterinary News. If you like content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so you'll be notified as soon as content like this drops on your internet doorstep. Until next time, keep living that off-label life. Bye.